So I'm at home the other night, I'm watching television like everybody does after dinner. I flip on the old tube and what do I see? Dancing with the Stars. Dancing with the Stars is a great show. Everybody loves Dancing with the Stars. Wives get their husbands to watch Dancing with the Stars. I'm watching this, I'm watching the celebrities and the judges and the professional dancers and they're making their swoops and their moves and their big dramatic gestures. And I'm watching this and a thought occurs to me. Dancing is like business. Or at least dancing is like business the way it should be in this era, this web 3.0 chapter of business that we're in today. Let me explain to you what I mean and, and why this is such an interesting challenge. In fact, before I go into that, I'm going to explain to you, I have a 16-year-old boy and he watches, listens to a little hip-hop music, as you might guess. And the other day I was listening with him to a, an artist named Nelly. And Nelly was doing this chant, and it seeded this general idea in my head. The, 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 the chant goes, when I move, you move. Boom. When I move, you move. Now, pardon me. <laughs> I'm a middle-aged man, a businessman. I'm really not a hip-hop performer, but I do get this. When I move you move. Here's the interesting thing about that. Today, business must be in rhythm, must be in sync with the customer. But do you know how rare that actually is? In fact, have you ever been to a dance where you're watching people dance out on the floor and one person is dancing to a 4-4 rhythm and the person, their partner's dancing to a 3-4 rhythm, like a waltz rhythm? Huh? You ever seen what happens when two people are out of sync, they're dancing to the wrong rhythm? There's no pattern. There's no predictability. It's chaos. And that's the way business today, unfortunately, resembles that kind of dancing. We are not moving in rhythm to the customer. And I'll, let me tell you why. First of all, the customer is reacting to trends in culture going on around us that most business people simply are not aware of. So they can't stay in touch with the times. They're putting out fires every day. They're taking care of operations, taking care of money, personnel, and they don't realize the broader context, unfortunately, within which their business operates. They think they're on the rhythm, but they're dancing to the waltz while the customer is dancing hip hop. All right. Now, this is what's interesting about that. In order to actually keep a customer today, you have to earn their trust. There is a huge gap between what we promise our customers and what we actually deliver. Now, that's not an interesting or exciting thing to have to uh, accept. But take a look at HMOs. Take a look at the airlines. Do they actually deliver on the expectations they create? Unfortunately, the public says about 70% of the time they don't. In fact, the only businesses that the consumer actually trusts are the local grocery store. They actually consider them most in tune, most trustworthy in so far as satisfying their needs. But the neat thing about the dance metaphor is the fact that when you're dancing in sync with your partner, you know where he or she is going next. All right? There's a predictability. You know if they're going to move, when they're going to move, in what direction they're going to move. We don't know that about our customers, do we? And that's why our customers don't trust us. We're not, giving, we're not moving with them on the floor of life. Now, the interesting opportunity we have is that in this Web 3.0 era that we're in today, the Internet, computers, microprocessors can actually analyze customer behavior and anticipate, much like a dancer does on the dance floor, the next move. So that we can then send an email to our customer and say, based on your past pattern of activity, it's likely you're going to be looking for our product in this particular way in the near future. We anticipate that and we've got an offering for you. Ladies and gentlemen, that's just one little example of moving with the customer when they move, we move. There's a rhythm to it, ladies and gentlemen. Most of us are not in rhythm with our customers. Now, when you bring me in to do a seminar or a keynote based upon when I move, you move, this whole dance metaphor that, by the way, everybody in your business will find fascinating and exciting and a little bit fun. I also want to tell you there's another piece of it 
that I call dance leaps and dance turns. They also apply to our business situation today in this particular time in the 21st century. Taking leaps, being able to turn on a dime, being nimble, keeping balance, and once again, moving in the same direction at the same time as our customer expects us to move with them. My name is Lynn Hinderocker. I'm a keynote speaker, a seminar leader, a workshop leader. Ladies and gentlemen, no matter what you do, when you get rid of this video right here and now, remember one phrase, when I move, you move. Thank you.